Which brings us to the first part of lesson six, which I did want to cover today, which is also in all of your Musico accounts. And we're talking about chords or triads. The word triad, tri, means three. So a chord is a, is, um, a sound that's made up of three different sounds. And to build a chord, we use the first note, the third note, and the fifth note, where the first note is note number one of the key or scale of whatever we're in. They can be written with or without a key sign. It depends on the question. And you always take the bottom note as this major scale and work out the key sign from there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now, there is one thing that you do need to know, and that's the difference between Arabic numbers and Roman numbers. So Arabic numbers are the ones that we use for fingering when we're playing our instrument. And those are the numbers that you use in maths that you already know about. Roman numbers are the ones that we use for chords. And we use a different system so that we can tell the difference between in our sheet music between what we're reading. So if you haven't seen these before, this is what they look like. So Roman numbers mean Roman numbers look like this. Number one is one stick. Number two is two sticks. Number three is three sticks. Number five is a V. And four is one before V. Six is one after V, or five. And seven is two after five, which is how it works. Okay? So we'll come back to those in a minute, but that's, they're the two different numbering systems. One is for fingers when we're playing, and one is for chords. So, looking at question one, complete the tonic triads below. And as we said before, you're going to use the bottom note is note number one, add the third note, and add the fifth note to each of these examples. Off you go. Writing it down, question one. So Vass, since you've just joined us, answering question one of lesson six. All you've got to do is finish writing the rest of the chord. They've given you the bottom note. And it should look like this as your answer. So we've got a chord one in G, a chord one in F major, and a chord one in C major. Just quickly check the screen for your answers. Yep, good. So these aren't all that difficult, which means you can continue doing questions two, three, and four for homework. 